China likely covered up and destroyed COVID-19 evidence. You've been on the cutting edge of all this stuff. You're an international securities expert. What do you know this week that a lot of us don't know? Well, there's, there's an organization called the Five Eyes, and the Five Eyes are the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. And they've come out with a report saying that there's no doubt that China covered up everything from start to finish. In other words, in the beginning, if you remember about a month ago, China was saying, maybe two months ago, I should say, China was saying that this is not gonna be communicable from person to person. Uh, it's not highly infectious. It doesn't kill people. Um, it's some kind of bat infection and don't worry about it. And then once the word got out, they have been suppressing evidence nonstop. They kicked out all the researchers that were trying to get into China from all over the world to discern what's going on and get real samples from the site of where it supposedly started in Wuhan. So the Five Eyes, which is the intelligence uh, organizations of the countries I just mentioned, Kent, are furious because China is still not cooperating. And ironically, Ironically, the only world organization that thinks highly of China, get this, is the WHO, the World Health Organization, who is still apologizing for China and saying what a great job they're doing and is singing their praises as if to say, we're the propaganda arm of the Communist Chinese Party, trust us. And is it any wonder that Trump cut off their funding? Barry, let me ask you something. You're an international security expert. How do you cut through all the bull of all the intelligent stuff you hear? Because half of it you can't believe. Well, probably more than what, 90% you can't believe. Where do you go to for the real source when you're in these situations? Where do you go for this? Because there's so much crap out there floating around. Well, the problem, you know, especially on social media, Kent, is there's so much disinformation and republished crap. And then, as you and I talked about previously, Facebook has become, get this, the propaganda arm of the World Health Organization. They have a censorship bureau that checks for authenticity and accuracy in reporting. And if you post something or say something or republish a video on Facebook that's outside the WHO guidelines, Facebook will take it down. So it's not only where you go, but who's censoring the information. I spend about five hours a day reading from sources all over the world, and every day I have to decide who to believe. There's no one source that's accurate all the time, unfortunately.